Uh, today we're talking about the market basket analysis, frequent item sets, association rules, I priori, and other algorithms. And so first off is market baskets, basket analysis. Um, this is something you can do to easily discover what is missing in the basket of every single customer. So then you offer the right basket. Um, so we, I have two examples, Amazon and McDonald's. Um, if you try to just buy one thing from them, they'll try to suggest to sell you. So they'll know what goes together. So um, one common one is, do you want fries with that? So it's an easy upsell. Um, I was somewhere this weekend and they offered me a cookie. So I guess I didn't order enough. They offered me a cookie. Uh, but those are different ways that market best analysis. So you figure out what kind of things go together. And the same thing is with Amazon. So this person was shopping for a camera on Amazon. Um, and that was an opportunity that Amazon could do a suggestive sale. So by looking at the basket, so if they have the camera in the basket or if they're shopping for the camera, there's different things that you can attach on that sale. So this is like the insurance um, protection plan for the camera. And then you also have a nice uh, camera case. So this is two different ways to do that. Um, so this is very basic, but this is items and baskets. So items are the objects that we are identifying associations between. So for an online retailer, this is the item, or each item is a product in the shop, which is pretty straightforward. Um, the baskets are the instances of groups of items co-occurring together. So the items go into baskets. So if you think like, your Amazon, um, your shopping basket. Those, so anytime a customer puts certain items into baskets, um, that's all recorded and that's, you know, that there's gonna, those are gonna be associated together that way. Um, the support of an item or items is the set of number of transactions in our data set that contain that item or item set. So it's a simple count, it's a way of measuring it. Um, one thing to note here, support can be like a simple count or it could be a percentage of the whole. So You'll see that in this next one. Um, so this is talking about support, threshold, and frequent item sets. So over here, I uh, created five different transactions at a store. You can see that these are the different baskets of items, and these are all purchased together. Um, so for example, what are the support of these item sets? So A and B is one. So A and B, it looks like it only occurred one time in this one transaction, so it has a very low support. Whereas AC, you can see it's happened here, happened here, happened here. So it has a support of three. Um, a support threshold is like the minimum, uh, it's, a, it's a threshold, so it's like a minimum value. And this is how you identify what is significant. So something that has only one count in your whole data set is not very significant. You would have a threshold, like a minimum, that you would want to start looking at. So if, the, if given a threshold of two, then AC would be a frequent item set. I don't think anything else occurred twice together. So this is the only item set that would be frequent. Um, and so if my question for y'all is, what would be the threshold of uh, an item set BE? And that's for candy, if anyone wants candy. One. One. One, okay, that half of the room gets candy. Okay. <laughs>